I'm Sarah and I'm from Nottingham, the only city in which the phrase, is that a gun in your pocket or are you just happy to see me, is a frequently asked question. <laughs> I'm from a, a small village in Nottingham called Burton Joyce. And, uh, <laughs> <Mom? laughs> uh, the thing about Burton Joyce is that it, it's full of mature people, seasoned people. Bert and Joyce are actually the names of an elderly couple that just won't fucking die. <laughs> and the, the thing about these elderly people is that if, no matter who you are or what you look like, if you walk towards them in the street, they will get intimidated and they will cross the road. <laughs> and it's like, it's like they think that you can't cross the road. And I find myself thinking things like, no, I can get you. <laughs> And one day, I might. And it's, it's out of character for me, because I'm not a violent person at all. I've only ever been involved in one violent incident. It was right after I told my parents I was gay. My mum's initial reaction was just to punch me. Hard. In the vagina. <laughs> to her credit, she did apologise straight after. I think it was just an initial, try and be gay now! <laughs> I think she thought if she bruised it, I wouldn't let anybody touch it. But, um, I do love my mum, she's a nursery teacher, so she'll often come home covered in, in paint and play-doh and piss, stinking of custard creams, with the door of the Explorer pencil case in one hand and a door of the door Explorer sippy cup full of gin in the other. And the thing that, that nursery rhymes are doing at the moment is these, uh, these politically correct nursery rhymes. And um, the one that I really sort of find really notable is Bar Bar, All Ethnicities Welcome Sheep. <laughs> yeah, and my favourite one, my favourite one that goes a little bit like this, it's uh, ten green bottles sitting on a wall. Ten green bottles sitting on a wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, that leaves nine green bottles sitting on a wall. Nine green bottles <laughs> sitting on a wall. Nine green bottles sitting on a wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, that leaves eight green bottles sitting on a wall. Eight green bottles <laughs> sitting on a wall. Eight green bottles sitting on a wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, at what point do we stop calling these accidents? <laughs> I love my mum being a nursery teacher because she's helped me through a lot of things growing up. She's really helped me. One of the things that she helped me with was that I, I had a bladder problem when I was younger. I had a bladder problem. But not just any old bladder problem. I had a subconscious bathroom sensitive bladder problem. Which meant that if I knew on any level that there was a toilet nearby, I would wee without warning. <laughs> and the way that my mum helped me is that she gave me a metaphor. She said, Sarah, your bladder is like an infant. And upon hearing its mother's voice, it needs her immediately. And the infant begins to whimper. And the whimper turns to a cry. And the cry turns to a sob. And the sob turns to a wail. And the wail turns to a yell. And it bellows and it shouts and it screams. And now every time I hear a newborn baby cry, I piss myself. 